Hey everyone, I'm Joe. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated book, Lucy's of 2019. I've never done an anticipated books video before, so this should prove quite interesting. First of all, three little things I should say is that of course, uh, book publication dates are subject to drastic change and indeed cancellation. So these dates and indeed these books I say in my video may be completely and utterly inaccurate and wrong in every sense. So you know, don't hold me to anything I would say. Uh, the second is that, despite the fact I am anticipating and greatly looking forward to the books in this video that are being released this year, I'm not guaranteeing that I, I will actually read these books in this video this year. I will read them, but it may be another year or two before I actually get to it. Because in quite a few cases, these books have been released in hardback, and I'm not a fan of hardbacks, as you may know, so it may well be 2020 before I actually get to about at least a quarter of them and the other thing is I, I'm not going to be giving a detailed synopsis to any of these books because frankly in many cases I don't know too much myself and also I don't frankly want to know too much I want it to be a bit more of an unknown for me with some of these books because I'm going by what I know about the author and what I've vaguely heard little things about to, to do with the books so I want it to be a surprise to me as much as to anybody else so yeah it, this should be pretty interesting so first of all there is The Haunting of Tramcar 015 by P. Jelly Clark I have read a short story by Clark a few years ago and indeed that short story is set in the same world that this full length novel is going to be set in which is why I am very um, much looking forward to this book because that short story was fantastic it's a otherworldly and alternative version of Kaivo it had a fantastic world building and atmosphere and frankly just going by that alone I am very much looking forward to and thinking that this book will prove to be very interesting indeed and may well be one that I greatly enjoy a lot. The second book is no Way by S.J. Morden. This is the sequel book to a book that I read last year called One Way. This is a, about a group of inmates that are all in prison for life, in some cases death row. They are sent to a, a Mars colony to actually build the infrastructure so then a proper sort of uh, official team can go there. They are sent because if there's any accidents, well, the life uh, imprisonment prisoners so it doesn't, nobody frankly cares so they're disposable however they start to be killed and things go from there this book follows events from that book and I don't want to know more and I actually don't know much more so I'm very interested to see where this world can go because it was a curious one and one that I actually rather did enjoy the third book is Luna Moon Rising by Ian MacDonald this is the third book in the Lunar series. The first book was New Moon and the second book was Wolf Moon. And indeed the books are obviously set on the moon. This is about essentially there are five powerful families that control all the resources on the moon. Obviously controlling the resources means you then have access to the contracts to ship them back to Earth and make vast quantities of money. These families are always are competing against each other and they are very um, let's say not friendly most of the time with each other and events really do spiral in a rather chaotic manner throughout the books and go in a fantastical way the writing and the ideas are fantastic this third book should be simply amazing I really am looking forward to it a lot the next book is Agency by William Gibson I know very little about this book other than the fact it is a techno thriller, it is near future and it has something to do with an app developer in some way. William Gibson is well known for writing books that often are quite um, sort of future telling with regards to certain ideas and certain aspects of society. This will probably be no different. I have read every single book that Gibson has written so I'm actually fully up to date with an author for a change. And this should prove to be very interesting and I'm quite interested to see what Gibson will do with certain new technologies, let's say. And 
his ideas of where they could lead to. The next book is Atlas Alone by Emma Newman. This is the fourth book in the Planet Fall series. As it is the fourth book, I do not want to know anything about it, frankly, and I don't need to do anything about it because the first three books which I have read were fantastic. They are all about different aspects on different set in different locations, so it's a bit hard to describe actually. But let's just say Emma Newman's writing style is fantastic. Her characters, which are all interlinked around this idea of this generation ship called Atlas that left Earth many years before and nobody knows where it went exactly or why. And I'm hoping this book answers certain questions to do with this Atlas mission. Because frankly, that is what Emma Newman is building up to at this point. It should be very interesting to see where things are starting to build up and where we see answers. Next up is Waste Tide by Chen Kui Fan. This is Chinese translated uh, science fiction. I have read several short stories by Chen Kui Fan in the past few years, which I greatly enjoyed. All I know about this story is that it is set in the sort of waste area of China, which does actually exist, basically where a lot of Western countries were shipping their waste and their recycled stuff to China to get recycled, and it didn't exactly work out. The author has written a story based around this area and characters who live there and things happen, which should be very interesting and very exciting because especially as I'm new to translated fiction, so I'm just very interested to see what can happen in a world that I'm not used to. The next book I'm excited for is Exhalation by Ted Chiang. Finally, he is going to be releasing a new short story collection. His other short story collection, Stories of Your Life and Others, I thought was fantastic. So did virtually everybody else I know that read the book also thought this book was amazing. The total story of that collection, Story of Your Life, was made into a movie which was also fantastic so this short story collection I am expecting frankly fantastic things for hopefully it lives up to it I mean his writing style is pretty solid and his ideas are simply amazing so I'm pretty confident with this one that it should be great overall then we have Children of Ruin by Adrian Tchaikovsky this is the sequel book to his award winning Children of Time which is essentially about a planet where humans sent a probe in advance to sort of terraform it and prepare it for human habitation. Things didn't end up going as they planned because now the planet is filled with giant intelligent spiders. Several people I know that do not like spiders did however like Children of Time. So where Children of Ruin is going to go, I'm not sure. I don't want to know, but it should be a very interesting and curious journey filled with spiders, I think. Then we have State Tectonics by Malka Older. This is the third book in the uh, Sentinel Cycle, which is also the last book in that, making it a trilogy. And this is actually one of the books that I, I will be reading this year because this is a paperback release. The hardback was released last year. As you know, I don't like hardbacks. So my plan is that when this third book is released, I will buy all three books in this trilogy and read them in one go back to back. I greatly enjoyed the first book. I have not yet read the second, but I have high hopes for this because the first book, Informocracy, was fantastic. It has politics and it has ecology and fantastic writing. So, yeah, this should be good. We then have Hexachade Stories by Yoon Ha Lee. This is a short story collection with all of the short stories uh, set in his world that, it, that he has got some massive success from before, the Machineries of Empire series. I enjoyed this trilogy thoroughly, so these short stories, which are obviously going to be very interesting and varied tales based on various aspects of the world, should be very interesting and should flesh out this world which we learned about and everybody anticipated in previous years and which I greatly enjoyed and so did many other people. So this should fill out a few little areas here or there which I think should be very interesting indeed, frankly. 
Then we have the ascent of Godhood by Jai Wei Yang. This is the fourth book in the Ten Third series. This is actually one of the few uh, sort of fantasy no uh, novels on the series. And actually, it's not a novel. In fact, it is actually a novella because the previous three novels, of which I read the first two, were fantastic. The third, which I do plan to read in the near future, should prove to be fantastic. And this fourth one will also probably be, unsurprisingly, fantastic. It has some interesting ideas, amazing writing, and the character development and the way the characters interact with each other is really in intricate and really quite nuanced. And I greatly enjoy that aspect of the book. My J.Y. Young knows how to do characters and deal with characters in a very interesting way, which I appreciate. Then we have Turning Darkness Into Light by Marie Brennan. The only thing I know about this book, well there are two small things actually, is one, this is the first book in a new series which follows on from her um, Memoirs of Lady Trent series. And the other is that the main character of this new series is the daughter of that aforementioned series of Lady Trent. So where this will go and exactly what it will, it will feature I have no idea and I do not want to know what this to be a surprise I greatly enjoyed the Lady Trent series so this is just going to be an interesting and curious um, book to read and I'm curious to see what she'll bring into this world she's already developed it in the Lady Trent book so now she'll obviously focus on a different aspect which should be good the next book is The Future of Another Timeline by Anna Lee Newitz. This is a science fiction novel. I read her previous novel, which I actually have just over there, Autonomous, which I greatly enjoyed last year, which I did say I was going to do a review about, but I failed to do so, as is the case sometimes. I greatly enjoyed that novel, Autonomous. This novel sounds like it can be really interesting as well. It's got multiple um, concepts in it that I like the sound of it has time travel in it in some way and geologists going back to change things in some manner Anna, which should prove frankly strange and interesting because I like books that are strange and interesting so yeah this should be a good one the penultimate book is Perhaps the Stars by Ada Palmer this is the fourth book in the Terra Ignota series I read the first book last year I do own the second and third book although I have not read them yet and the first book is one of these strange books where I greatly enjoyed the book but I actually can't exactly say why mainly because the plot was really interesting but I can't explain it because it confused me the writing style was fantastic but again I can't explain it because it slightly confused me and that was basically my uh, idea for the book it was weird and I didn't entirely understand what I was reading but for some reason I greatly enjoyed it so this fourth book which I think is the last one um, should prove to be interesting although obviously I need to read the second and third books which hopefully I'll do soon and finally we end with a pair of novels by Mary Robinette Cowell these are the third and fourth uh, Lady Astronaut novels they do not have names yet despite the fact they are being released in the summer of this year, in Phoebe. I greatly enjoyed the first two novels that she wrote in this world last year. They are actually two of my favourite books of 2018. I don't really know too much about them, other than one of them definitely does follow the characters established in those two books. One of them follows sub-characters, or minor characters from those books in some manner, and the world is still there, it is more developed and it goes off in interesting ways. That's all I need to know because I love those um, first two books a lot. These two should be amazing. I am really looking forward to these two books badly. In fact. And with that said, that is actually it for all of the videos that I am participating for this year, or at least the ones I know about anyway. Again, you know, these could be subject to change, so if I don't mention these for a very, very long time on my channel, don't be surprised, because, you know, these things can happen and dates can stuff change wildly out of control. If you have any really interesting books that um, 
you are also anticipating and you think um, I might like to know about them, please leave a comment because I'm very interested to know about new authors, new types of writing and new ideas as always. If you have um, any interesting books that you think I might like but already out, again leave a suggestion. And also if you are also anticipating any of these books as well, then you know, so 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 as well. With that said, that is it for this video. All my social media links can be found in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you another day. Bye for now.